Hoodie fam, what is going on? It's been a little bit since we posted. I posted a couple days ago. We did a stream on Sunday. I think it was Sunday we did a stream. Uh, and then I posted some shorts. I'm still recovering. Um, it's going. Uh, I do have this new cast. I think I showed you guys that on stream is when I got this. Uh, this cast is pretty good. It's pretty good. I do I do like it more than my whole other one because my whole other arm was just completely wrapped up. Um, but I did sleep on my arm or hand wrong last night, bro. I don't know. It hurt this morning, though, dog. So I'm still on the road to recovery. The gameplays have kind of slowed down, as you know. Things have slowed down. But I do have some uh, stuff to bring you today with this new game I just found out about, which we played on stream on Sunday. Um, I do want to go over the info because it is free. It is a free-to-play game, um, and we, like I said, we did play the beta. Um, there was a beta, and it was it was really fun. But I want to go over the actual like info with you guys. So seeing how I can't really do gameplay videos, I figured why not do some stuff like this? Because there are some other games that I want to go over trailer-wise, so we can do that too. Um, but we're gonna start with this one. It's called Maximum Football. It's been around for a little bit. Um, I think it was 2017, 18, and 19. Uh, they made it. I've never played this game before. I've heard of it. Um, I just didn't know they were making a new one. But they did really bad. The games weren't that good because it was a small indie studio. But a new company took over um, to make this one. And when I played the beta, it was really fun. Obviously, there's like some issues still. It's a small company, so their budget isn't as high as like EA Sports or uh, you know anything like that. But, um, I mean, for what it is, it was really fun. The graphics are amazing. The presentation was amazing. The gameplay needs work, but it's still playable and still fun. So, I'm going to talk about it more, though. I am going to do a video about my beta impressions on it. Um, it is coming for all consoles, obviously, for PlayStation here, PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S. And I believe it is coming also to the PC. I think it's coming to the PC first and then consoles, but I can't remember exactly what their Twitter thing said. Um, and there is some other stuff I'm going to go over on Twitter, but this video is going to be kind of long. So we're going to put, we're going to do a couple videos on this, but I'm going to show you guys the trailer. Um, there's a couple trailers. This is the gameplay trailer. I believe this came out last week. Um, this is when I just found out about this game. So watch the trailer. It's kind of quick. Um, as you can see, there's tons of teams. It says maximum football. I got to pause because of the copyright. Um, but that spin move, I will say the spin move in the game and the beta was really nice. Um, the tackling was really good. That spin move is nasty. The kickoff, obviously the running and the tackling. Dude, the tackling is amazing. The tackling seems better to Madden than me. But look how this guy gets tackled. Like, he actually lowers his helmet, goes for the hit, and, like, actually, like, hits him and drives him to the ground. He makes the diving catch. There's tons of stuff here. The customization is absolutely amazing. You can take a team, um, any team in the game, you can create your own. We couldn't do it in the beta because it wouldn't save, but when the full game comes out, you can, like, create the uniforms you can you can change the pants the stripes the jersey the, the like everything the helmet everything like that there was another thing i wanted to point out that they just went over uh it looks like this is obviously the work in progress but i believe this is part of like the franchise mode because there is a franchise mode coming both for pro and college uh dynasty like franchise mode looks like the coaching you can improve skills to improve level one coach uh next level increase your ability to influence recruits by 15 percent so it looks like there is some stuff with that and then like i said the customization is amazing as they're showing off the customization here i mean just look at in that like millisecond how much you could do you got this guy you got more they have adidas cleats they're here to stay um the stadium looks really good i love the stadiums i only played in one but the stadium was really good showing off more gameplay here it's free um and then you can add it to your wish list right now um on playstation there is no actual announce date though or release date but you can add it to the you can add it to your wish list so that's like a quick kind of trailer that's just like the gameplay trailer they put that out nine days ago um, it got 1.2k likes. I mean, a lot of people, um, someone said NFL Blitz needs to come back. I missed 2k on Dreamcast. Um, I know a lot of people, 
obviously it's probably not going to get as much hype because of uh, Madden coming out and the college football game. And obviously this doesn't have like NFL licensing. This doesn't have college licensing. Like doesn't have any of that. So like it's probably not going to get as much attention, but I'm going to promote it on this channel a lot because it is a small company and the game is really fun. Like I played it and it was really fun and it's free. It's literally free where you don't have to buy it. Um, there is like in-game purchases they said to get like more customization and stuff like that but but basically the base game just the base game itself is free there is another trailer this one is from a year ago um i had no idea modus games is the company um this one said this is how you revolutionize the genre quality football free to play cross play and more yeah there is tons of stuff um about this game we'll we'll break down this trailer too um, that, that one was the one they just put out, but this one has more in it. It's a minute and 18 seconds. Um, but the presentation is great. Modus Games presents, of course. Look at them coming out of the tunnel and just the uniforms like pop, bro. Like the outline of the numbers, the colors, the smoke coming out of the tunnel, like the confetti flying. Look at the, look at the animations. You got this guy doing a backflip. It is on Unreal Engine 5, which is very impressive. Very impressive uh, for a small indie company to be able to do that. Um, the ball looks good. The grass looks really good. The paint of the lines look really good. Excuse me. You see the kickoff animation here. It is free to play, as I mentioned. I mean, look at these uniforms. Just look at that, bro. The gloves look amazing. The yellow, the, the, the visor. There's different visors, there's different helmets. I'm pretty sure this guy has a different helmet on than him, but look at the helmets and just it just looks so good for a small indie company. That spin moves nasty. There's a juke. There is online multiplayer. Um I don't think it's anything crazy. I don't think it's anything crazy. It might just be like normal teams or maybe you can like I don't know. I don't think they have ultimate team or anything like that. Um so it might just be like normal teams, but there is one V one multiplayer online, which is amazing. Um some of the animations here they show off that's the game simulation football you got this guy dropping down he's gonna hike it he's gonna throw it the other thing i will say is just in that animation right there right like oh I, this one right here like you see how this guy jumped and there's there's no abilities but you see how like he jumped and he almost i want to get it exactly where he Nope, I'm trying to get it exactly where. Okay, you see how he, like, reads it and he's going to jump? But, like, he doesn't jump out of the gym. Like, it is realistic to where, like, he doesn't, like, go crazy and do some crazy animation and picky. He jumps, but he misses it, and the guy gets it. The tackling looks really good. Um, the inter That's an interception. Physics-based tackling. The tackling looks great. I mean, that's how you tackle someone, bruh. And Madden, I feel like you just, like... Like, there's only certain tackle animations in Madden, so you tackle everyone the same, I feel like. I mean, in this one, you kind of do too, but it looks like more of a real tackle. Like, when you tackle someone, like, this guy puts his head down. Like, you're supposed to wrap them up and take them down to the ground like that. Like, that's a real tackle. As you can see, more visors, different helmets. Like, that's a real tackle, bro. You throw them to the ground. Like, you, you actually go to tackle them. Customization, as I mentioned, just look at all that. Look at the different uniforms you can make. More tackle animations here. They show off the Juke Dynasty mode. That's what I was talking about. They did mention there is a Dynasty mode for pro and for college. Um, so I am excited for that. They show off just more stuff. Look at that truck. I believe that was a truck. Bro, look at that guy go flying. Look at that guy go flying off of that truck, though. Okay, my mouse just stopped working for a second. That's crazy, dog. Then you got some more, like, celebrations here. Uh, more juke animations. He broke a tackle. And then early access, spring 2023. Obviously, this was pushed back because um, this one is from a year ago. Obviously, this was pushed back because the beta just came out for it. Um, so obviously it was pushed back, but that is the trailer, like the actual first trailer they did for it. Um, it looks really good. I, I mean, I'm really excited for it. Uh, while you truly have come a long way, the player movement, the animations, the models all look smoother. Yeah, because people are excited. I mean, it's a free game. It's not 
like the best, obviously, but like it, it's still it's still great. You can use CFL, XFL, Super League football game, um, and OG in the maximum com- football community. I'm really excited. That's one heck of a tra- that's one heck of a trailer, man. I'm excited. Um, looks really good. Love physics based games. Um, finally, football game with nice throwing animations. Yeah, I mean, for I'm like I said, I'm not gonna say. I'm not going to say it's better than Madden. I'm not going to say it's going to destroy Madden. It's not, okay? It's not. We all know that. We all know people like the licensing, the players, and all this and that. But for a free game for an indie company, it's in a great spot. They've done such a good job with changing it up, you know, from what it was. Because Maximum Football was nothing before. No one played that, bro. I never played it because it always looked horrible. But this looks really good. And it's free, it's free, but you can go to their website. They do have a website here, uh, Maximum Football, the Ultimate Simulation. There's some crazy news, too, that we're going to get into in another video. Crazy news, bro. Crazy news. You can sign up for their newsletter. I have done that. Um, this is the announcement trailer. You can watch it here. We just watched that. And then some screenshots. There are some screenshots. Um, diving animation, the shadow. Like, bro, they have shadows of the players when they dive. Like, come on, dog. For a small company like that, come on, dog. Um, this is an in-game screenshot in the game. So you got the stamina here, the player, and then obviously, like, the scoreboard. Um, but just the stuff around the stadium. Like, look how many fans are there. The grass looks really good. The, you know, the scoreboard is pretty cool, I think. I mean, it just looks so good. You got a throwing animation. He's following through his throw. We, threw, we saw that in the trailer. Um, another in-game screenshot of actual action. This is exactly what it looks like when I played. Um, obviously, this is on Xbox because you can see the X, Y, A, B, and all that. But, you know, I mean, basic scoreboard, first and 10. You got the yardage, you know, the yardage, the play clock, all that. Um, the blocking in this game is really good. The blocking actually makes sense. Um, and then, you know, the sidelines, there's refs on the field, which is crazy. Cause I think Madden just added refs on the field, like last year or something. They never had that. Um, but just the game looks really good from a gameplay perspective and from, um, a photo perspective, another tackle, which is like the tackling is amazing. Some plays here. You got the play cock. It tells you they got names in the game. Go to the previous play. You can scroll through. Um, and then this shot right here is just amazing, bro. This shot right here is actually amazing, though. Coming out of the tunnel, you got the smoke, you got the fire, you got the cameraman, you got the shadows of the players, you got fireworks going off, you got confetti, you got, like, it just looks so good, bro. Like, so good. More in-game screenshots here. Um, the players stand a little weird, but I mean... There's so much room for improvement this, for this game. And I will tell you, I did watch the interview of the uh, main guy who helped develop the game. And he said their first thing to get right, no matter what, before anything else, is gameplay. So they're focusing so heavy on that. That is also why they pushed the game back, because the gameplay was not ready. But they're focusing so hard on gameplay, and they're taking everyone's feedback. Um, I filled out the form for the beta for the feedback, they listen to people all the time, um, because they obviously want to make their game great, they want people to play it, they want Maximum Football to be up there, and if we show them support and play their game, I'm not saying you have to buy anything in the game, but if you just play the game and support them and get this game out there, we can help this game become eventually what maybe Madden is, or even better than Madden. Because Madden's not that good, dog. If you think about it, I'm not going to go off on it right now, but Madden is not that good. It used to be good, but it is not that good anymore. It is not. Like I said, this is not Madden. This is not up to that level. But this is a great start for a small company trying to get their name out there. And I believe that is it for the screenshots. Let me just... Okay, yeah, that's it for screenshots. And then you can scroll down. They do have some questions on here, but it says about maximum football... Um, lead your team to victory in the ultimate football simulation. Start your college career. Play with the pros across varying and dynamic stadiums around the country. As a head coach, make all the decisions from drafting your roster to calling the plays. We saw that in one of the trailers about the coach points. The maximum football universe has been completely overhauled to deliver players an ultra-realistic experience that is entirely free to play. Keyword, or keywords, free to play, unreal 
ultra realistic experience and completely overhauled. Fully customize your team, recruit your dream roster, and take it to the gridiron locally or online as you build your legacy. Tight, rewarding moves allow players to feel the true sensation of being on the field and smooth. Responsive controls mean every play is performed as planned. Live service content ensures fresh chances to up your game and rise through the ranks to take your place besides the legends. I can tell you that the controls is very responsive. I played the Madden 25 beta for two minutes. I did a truck and a juke, and my guy had an ability, and he didn't do it because it didn't register. I juked and did a spin move in here, and a truck and all that, bro, registered every single time. Every single time. And then for the uh, questions, for the fan uh, answers and questions. It says, why is Maximum Football free to play and not a premium release? The vision for Maximum Football has always been to deliver the ultimate football simulation sandbox. And as we, and as we looked at how to deliver that vision, we determined that a model that allows us to build on the game over time alongside the community was the best way to do that. Like I said, they want the community's feedback. They want you to help them make the game better, they'll, they'll listen. They will listen to the community. They want help. They want That's why they're making it free. They want so many people to play it so they can get so much feedback and take that feedback and make the game better and make the game how we want it. It also says, will the game have loot boxes? No maximum football will not include loot boxes or any kind of randomized premium content. That's kind of a weird question, but it's fine. And then it says, will the game be... Will the game be free to play across all platforms? Yes, Maximum Football will be free to play on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox platforms. What is included in the early access? We'll have more details. Nothing crazy there. Will Maximum Football feature crossplay? Yes, we are planning to support cross platform matchmaking in Maximum Football. That is huge. That is huge right there. For a small indie company, a sandbox company to have crossplay in their game for free. That's huge, bro. Um, I don't want to pay for anything. Will this game still be good? Absolutely. Our goal for maximum football and moving to a free-to-play model is ensure the game is available, playable, and most importantly, enjoyable for the for the widest possible audience, free or otherwise. That's what I mean. They want they want you to play. They want people to play. They want to get their game out there. They want feedback. If you think the game sucks, tell them. But don't just say. I'm, I'm going to say this. It, don't say, go, don't go on their forums or on Twitter or in the comments of their, of their trailers and be like, this game sucks. Don't just say that. Why does the game suck? Why do you feel that the game sucks? Tell them exactly why you think the game sucks. Be like, I don't like gameplay. I don't like movement. I don't like how the receivers move. I don't like the spin move. Be very thorough with your response. Don't just say the game sucks. This game is trash. Why do you feel that way? Because if you tell them why you feel that way, they can go back into the lab and they can try to work on it. So don't try, don't just give them a generic, this game sucks. Really put effort into it, and, and and honestly, ask yourself first, am I the problem why this game sucks? Do I just need to get better? Because honestly, dog, when I played the first time, when I played uh, the, the beta, it wasn't on stream, I played the night before, I got my ass kicked by the CPU like 40 to 10, and I was like, damn, bro, but you know what? The whole time I was having fun, and yeah, there was issues in the game, I put it in the forum. But I also went into into depth in the forum. I didn't just say, well, this game sucks. Well, this part of... I didn't say, like, catching sucks. I, I explained why catching wasn't that great. I said because, you know, sometimes the receiver doesn't jump. Sometimes he doesn't animate. Sometimes they get stuck on their block. Like, you have to be thorough with it. You can't just say, like, EA Sports Madden doesn't matter because they're just going to do whatever they want. But these guys want help. So if you want to help them make the game better so it doesn't suck and you feel that the game sucks, put it in the forum. Put it in their comments. Put it in their videos on their comments. Or reach out to them when they do the support or these questions and answers. Put the information why you think the game sucks, just to help them out. I'm telling you, bro, they want to make a good game. They just need help. They they have a vision, but they also want the community's vision. I'm telling you. So that's pretty much it for the website. You can wishlist it now, I think, for Xbox One, Xbox Series X, PS5, and PS4. I did that on the PlayStation. Um, the last thing I just want to go over, because this video is 20 minutes, um, I went on the PlayStation Store. Actually, you can go on the PlayStation Store and do it right now. Um, plan releases 2024, in-game purchases, optional, one to two players, two players online, 
um, online play optional. So I just want to go more over the stuff. It says leader team to victory um, in the ultimate football simulation that is free. Rule the gridiron with precise movement thanks to realistic physics-based gameplay to feel the true sensation of being on the field. And then as head coach, make all decisions from building your roster to calling plays, fully customize your team, um, and take it to the gridiron locally or online as you build your legacy, which is pretty cool because that means you can take your custom uniforms online. Um, key features, fully modify your team with maximum football's deep customization features. Build your dream roster and, and enter the stadium in online ranked matches to mentor your legacy. The key, customization is a huge thing for them. It's a huge thing as long as along with gameplay not as long but it's a huge thing so is gameplay it says unmatched realism and physics maximum football is the only sports game with emergent gameplay that uses real physics to provide a true simulation experience every little detail matters including what adjustments you make and can be the difference between winning and losing college dynasty mode get the true experience of running a college program by managing every aspect imaginable from player recruitment to coaching hires and beyond this mode sounds so dope deep deep team and player customization unmatched customization features allow you to modify every piece of your team from logos to individual pieces of equipment dive into the x and o's to create a custom to create custom playbooks so custom playbooks custom uniforms custom equipment and logos come on bruh come on bruh for free and then it's just free to play Experience the ultimate football simulation game for free. Play the core game and get a variety of customization options free of charge. To enhance the experience, a selection of premium content is available for purchase. So it is free. Um, you can purchase more, but I, I mean, microtransactions are everywhere, dog. It's just that the core of the game is free, and that's a huge W. Ranked online competition. Maximum football features an online mode where you can build and upgrade a roster of players be a competitive card system and then test your team and skills in online matches for rewards xp and more so competitive so you can upgrade your players via a competitive card system so maybe excuse me maybe they do have something like ultimate team where you build and upgrade a roster of players via a competitive card system and then test your team and skills in ranked online matches this is a dub bruh this is a dub if you think this is a dub put w in the chat or in the chat comment section chat comment section same thing player upgrades strengthening strengthening your roster by improving via practice mode and earn rewards via daily and weekly challenges yes we're talking practice so it looks like you can go into practice improve your roster and you get daily and weekly challenge, or you get rewards daily and weekly. Ongoing content launching into early access. Maximum football will continue to expand with future content being rolled out regularly. And then pro season mode. This is the pro mode of the dynasty mode. A playthrough of professional season against thirty-one teams. So thirty-one teams are going to be in this game. That's dope. Oh, all going head to head for the championship. Hit the field and lead your team to glory. Uh, 2024 maximum entertainment and genre is sport. Like I said, there's no actual day yet, um, but there is some other stuff I have to go over because they did put some stuff out on Twitter. We are going to go over that. But man, if you are excited for this, let your boy know. I'm going to be playing this like crazy when this comes out. I know Madden comes out and college football comes out. I'm not getting either. I'm pretty much done with EA Sports, bro. I, I really don't want to play Madden or anything anymore. But this, this right here for free. And I played the beta. Nah, you got me, dog. You got me. I mean, some of the stuff, the stuff that gets me college dynasty mode, customization, free to play, online, player upgrade, like everything here, bruh. Everything here sounds so dope. And the beta was great. And there is other news coming out. But I am going to break down the beta because um, I did do gameplay on that. I'll give my thoughts on it. And then I do have some other stuff coming out about this game via Twitter and stuff like that. And then stuff like that. So I will keep you guys updated on this. We will talk about it more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Gameplays will happen soon. I just have to get better first. Um, I go to the doctor next week, I believe. No, the week after. I think it's the week after. Um, so we'll see what happens. But if you're excited for Maximum Football, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one. Always remember to follow your dreams. Don't let anyone stop you. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. And until next time, Hoodie Fam, bye-bye.